So in today's video, I'm going to solve a case that was posted here on the free MSK radiology school community. This is a free project here that I initiated a couple of months ago and now reactivated where you can join for free. You can see we are over 800 members here. It's for radiologists, for general radiologists, for MSK radiologists, for residents, for anybody who wants to learn MSK radiology. Uh, we are discussing cases, we are posting cases, we have quizzes. You can see there will be a live webinar actually today. This was a post from yesterday. And uh, the Apti here is always very active in posting lovely quiz cases. So what I'm going to do now in this video, I'm going to pick a case and trying to solve it uh, here in real time without having the answer. So there's a bit of a risk involved here too. So um, yeah, I think the latest one was this one here. I have loaded the images here. Uh, in case you're wondering, so you can also look at the case yourself either before you go and watch this video now. So you can pause, you can come to this community, you can create an account for free. I will post the link in the description down below. So you can just make an account and then you can go here. You'll find the case, which I will also post in the description. Uh, where is it? So here, then you go here and we can see it's about a 73 year old male patient with shoulder pain. So it's a man, it's important. And then shoulder pain for the past five months. And he had a steroid injection some time ago. So yeah, let's have a look. This is the link to Collective Minds where the case is posted. So let's have a look. Again, this is the case. So you can just click the image and then the DICOM viewer opens up where we can actually now go through the case. So let me just change the layout so we can see the full picture. I don't need to see my face all the time. So we go here. Okay, so this is now the case and we can scroll through, it's about shoulder pain and we see a couple of findings right from the get-go here. Uh, let's start with the obvious findings. We see high signal here, also in the bone here at the coracoid process, glenoid. There's also some uh, nodule-like finding up here, some high signal also with some, you know, periostal finding here at the scapular, uh, uh, what's it called like in English, like the scapula itself, the wing, yeah, it's the wing. And then uh, what else, some signal here, also very high. We can also see then the corresponding findings on the T1. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see this and to make this a bit higher. So we can see here, looks like even with cortical break, then we see a low signal, like even lower than the muscle here, all the way around, even these nodules here, which are likely from the bone and osseous component of whatever it is. So we are looking at uh, a um, something that's infiltrating the marrow. We can even see the cortical bone is missing here in the posterior aspect of the glenoid neck with some soft tissue component, extraosseous component here. And this is how the marrow should look like. So that's uh, what we can see here in terms of the bones. When we go up here, we can see there's a increased uh, lymph nodes here uh, below the pectoralis minor here. So we've got two lymph nodes here increased in its signal. So let's go back. Uh, what else can we see? We can go here to the coronal. We see basically the same findings. We have some high signal here, here. So multiple locations. And given the fact that we also have lymph nodes, multiple locations in the bone here, which then increases the suspicion of something systemic. So I'm thinking about cancer in any way or form, either metastatic cancer, multiple myeloma, or uh, lymphoma also here some uh, myeloproliferative disease here that would be the differentials the t2 signal shows that these masses here are quite low in terms of their signal so i think lymphoma would be still there but i think most likely given the age would be some metastatic disease um or some yeah some metastatic disease uh, we don't know which cancer and let's see if we can see something in the lung obviously we don't want to miss anything in the lung uh, let's see if we can see something here now no, no, these are again the lymph nodes and um, here, no, okay, and then we can check the localizers if we can find something in the localizers in terms of uh, a mass in the lungs, which we don't see here, I think, not that I can see, it's sometimes hard to see on the other side, let's see here. The coronal, I don't think we have enough signal to see anything on the other side. So let's go back to the, to the post because uh, there was also a CT scan posted here. Let's open this image. So this is a single image only. We can see these findings here. It has a little bit of a sclerotic component to it. Uh, when we go down, this is the image that we saw on MRI. Then here again, we can also see that the, the other rib has 
some sclerotic and thickening here too, which is likely also from the same process, whatever it is. Some sclerosis also of the first rib on both sides actually. Then here coracoid process, like we said already. Uh, we, we don't see much sclerosis here at the lateral clavicle where we saw some marrow infiltration or beginning osteolysis here as well. And um, there's a little nodule here in the thyroid or somewhere close there at least. I don't see anything wrong in the abdomen, a big large liver. I don't think we get more out of that. Um, yeah, so any form of metastatic cancer, I, I think, would be the first thing. And given they have a CT, I would do a, a full CT thorax abdomen to see if we see a primary and um, where we can see other like maybe soft tissue like liver metastasis or something like this. We can do blood tests like for prostate cancer and also do the general blood test just to check for lymphoma or multiple myeloma. And then eventually they will have to do a biopsy of, of the most suspicious lesion or something like that. Yeah, so that would be the approach. Uh, I will now post this video uh, also here on this uh, platform. Let me just go back here. So I will now post this video also here on this platform as an answer and you can also go watch it here. I will also do a couple of other solutions because you can see there are a couple of other cases, pelvic pain, wrist swelling. So I will try and answer some of these quizzes here without getting the answer. And I'm looking forward to up this solution eventually and see if I'm right or wrong. So if you want to see that for yourself, come to MSK Rat, so school.com MSK Rat, create an account for free. You can also get some information about it here. There's some videos uh, where you can uh, learn about what this is all about here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see you there. Bye-bye.